Alrighty, Death Decathlon event has just started today. November 9th, 2021 runs until November 15th, 2021. Without further ado, let's get into this event. If you're not already in the library, click on the gamma icon at the top right to go to event. You just click on the event and say teleport to event down at the bottom. The event that just ended, you have until Friday of that week to redeem anything you've earned and everything during these events goes towards your scroll of fortune. So let's check it out. There's two ways to get points during this event. Using a treasure card in combat, whether that's inside the decathlon or not, you still get credit. You can do up to 20 per day, getting one point each for a total of 20 points. I really wish it was more. And also defeating monsters in the decathlon tower is one point per rank unlimited amount. Well, thank goodness. As for the points, 10 points will get you Death Decathletes deck number one. And a few cards. 25 points gets you the Hands of Fate. 75 points gives you a life rune. 125 points gives you Decathlon Death Tower Pack. 175 points gives you Magical Clay. I need me some Magical Clay. 225 points gives you Decathlon Death Rune Pack. Ow, my knee. 300 points is Rockhammer's Jewel Pack. 375 points gives you an Ultimate Rune. And for 450 points, you get a cute little Death Class Hamster Pet. And what does it give you? Spells at the baby, spirit shield. No sale, no auction, crowns only. Uh, okay. So to my left is Kara Rune right over there. She sells recipes for you, treasure card recipes, wand recipes, transmuting recipes, all that good stuff that you need. Gamma is your one-stop shop for all info concerning the Decathlon. And finally over here, the Decathlon Crafting Station is here 24-7, 365, whether the event is going or not, just in case you are able to craft something outside of the event time frame. And finally, Harold Argelson over here not only is an awesome librarian with some floppy ears, he also sells treasure cards, and you can actually access a tab that allows you to purchase treasure cards from the bazaar directly from him instead of having to go all the way over there. Now, how do I get in, you ask? Well... Approach this cool looking sigil and say teleport. First off, you need to claim the day's credits. You only get three credits per day. And if you want to do decathlon, but you maybe can't do it that day, go get those credits anyways, because they don't go away until the end of the event. So if you miss a day or two, you still have those to build it up. This is a treasure card only event. So I have already packed my death decathletes deck. And then you just fill it with the treasure cards that you need. Ignore these down here. You can't use them anyway. So let's test it out. I don't know if I've even done the Death Decathlon. Let's go. Zombie Ant. Because I did put life cards in, right? Yes. Whatever the school of the Decathlon is, you always want to pack the opposite cards. Just saying. Well, I don't have a hit just yet. So let's do a shield. Still getting points, but I was doing, uh, well, attempting to help out some friends with the Devourer. They also needed to remove that quest from their bank, just like me. But, yeah, we didn't quite make it. So, uh, yeah, I used up almost all my treasure card points for that. Okay, so, 180 to 220, or let's just do a 200. And I get the bonus from the deck I'm equipped with which gives me more death resist and more life damage. Bye bye, Ant. We've got a balance rune and a balance rune and some gold. Now the way this thing works is you have one creature, then two creatures, then one boss creature. That is how this goes and you do that up to 10 times. The very last boss, if you're lucky, is your professor. Well, maybe not your professor, but a professor of that particular school. Get a shield first, then maybe give me a heal. We'll see. You know, you could be doing any of this stuff, pet. I'm just saying. You can help out. You are my decathlon pet. All right, what have we got? Anyway, we got a um, Grave Goliath and a zombie. Ouch. Not too bad, I guess. I do have quite a bit of healing. It's going to be okay. I don't remember how much damage I did on that one. I'm going to... Take a chance and get the big one. Best part about Decathlon is you always go first. There is a chance of crit. There is a chance of fizzle. 
Yes, I got him. Whew. That was just barely there. Oh dear, that's a death trap. Hmm, well, I can't kill in one round, so... I don't remember how many of those I had. I'm gonna go for this minor blessing. I'm gonna go for a small heal and then see what we can do. Now, if you are able to defeat the first creature, the next two creatures, and the final boss creature, Kara Runewright appears at the end of every third round you pass. And she sells you some awesome recipes for treasure cards, decks, etc. Make sure you purchase those because you won't be able to because she disappears. You can't go backwards. I need a leprechaun on this one. Because I know that clockwork did a lot of damage on the end. Yeah, I'm like 99.200% sure it is. Oh yes, look at that stuff. Woohoo! Balance rune and life rune. You do need these runes for crafting the upgraded decks, for sure. In addition to your other gear, which, as far as I know, the only gear that they have is the wands. Which would be the Hands of Fate, or the Wolven Spells. Tomb Weaver. I believe you can kill me tonight. Okay. Stop this loony bad singing. Thank you. No one wants to hear that. Well, let's just go with what we know. Let's go shield. Save up that pip and hit. Oh, you seem pretty angry. Oof. 30 trap. Yuck. Hmm. Well, I don't think this one's going to do it, but if I need to, I can always do uh, the imp next. Hey, if you hadn't noticed, uh, when I defeat those, I get one point each for those. Oh! What? Oh my gosh! Like 60 points? No! How could you? Maybe if I put some life traps in, it wouldn't happen so much. The best thing is, is the higher deck you have, the more space you have for treasure cards, which is so important. Because you can't replenish during the event. Well, you can replenish during the event. I don't know why I say these things. You cannot replenish while you are inside the Decathlon Tower. That's what I'm saying. Goodbye. So, this is rank one, so I'll probably get one point for it. One special event point. All right, we got Myth Rune, Balance Rune, Augmentation Rune, and another Augmentation Rune. And yeah, that's it. A uh, little bit of gold. Okay, here's Kara. Let's see what she's got. Got Death and Decathlete's deck number one. But um, yes, you get this as a reward, but you still need to recraft this when you're upgrading it. So when you're doing crafting deck number two, you need to use deck number one to craft number two. Then when you're crafting deck number three, you need deck number one and deck number two to craft deck number three. See what I'm saying? But what else does she have? Treasure card display. Yes, treasure card display. Apparently I've already purchased these from her. Death shield, life blade, and life scrub. And that's it. Let's go. I don't have that much more space in my deck, so I won't be able to do too much more. Onward! Mire Witch. Yeah, right now I only have 394 health left, which is not great. But this is rank 2 now, so I will be getting 2 points. If you're wondering why I'm not using Death Shields, it's because I waited too long to purchase these treasure cards, and of course there weren't any Death Shields available. Well, let's just see. It. Definitely not going to be able to bump this one off with one hit. One thing you got to be careful with the life creatures and the death creatures, they can both heal. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I can get rid of this one and that's about it. Because those two spells that I have left are not going to take care of the next two enemies. <laughs> Balance rune and a myth rune. Ah, oh, Grim Dark Phantom. You're so purdy. I'll just call you Mashila. I'll give you 10 extra points if you know who Mashila is. Okay, so 
Yeah, that's not going to take care of these guys, so I'm actually just going to let them bump me off. So after they kill me, when I want to go back in here, I can start at level 2, tier 2. Yeah, I can start at level 2. I don't have to redo level 1 again. So that's good because to be able to craft the second deck, I do need to pass the second tier. <laughs> Do it. Oh no, you half killed me. So if you go back over here, it says select stage two. There you go, stage. I'm using the wrong word. It's not a stage, a tier, it's a stage. Yes, every third floor. Or you can select stage one to start back at. But why would I do that? And I have two credits left. Let's see, did I earn anything yet? Ooh, I've got the... Life Blade Treasure Car, Death Rune, Fire Rune, Death Decathlete's Deck Number One, and Bad Juju Treasure Card. And because I have 23 points, I didn't earn this one just yet. Alrighty, that was my quick look at this event, how you get points, what the rewards are, and a quick look at what the decathlon actually looks like. Thanks for checking out this video, and we will see you in the next one.